Hey, what's going on guys? Komakikins here. In this video we're continuing generating attacks for leaper pieces and this time we st uh, we're gonna start dealing with knights. So uh, let me just scroll down a little bit and here uh, after the pawn attack, uh, pawn attack table I just want to define a new uh, variable uh, called knight attacks table and here we'll have only the square occupied by the knight because attacks uh, are not uh, because knight white knights and black knights obviously have absolutely the same attacks so here i just create the u64 knight attacks variable and 64 squares uh, array of, of of up to 64 elements uh, would it be stored within this knight attacks okay and just like we had a function to generate pawn attacks uh, absolutely the same we need to do in order to generate knight uh, not gibberate sorry generate knight attacks so uh, u64 mask knight attacks and it would it would only take the square as an argument and regarding the initial definitions within the knight attacks they would be literally the same like within the pawn attacks so we need to uh, create the result attack set bitboard the bitboard hold on a piece uh, to calculate the offset and setting the actual actual turning the bit on on the bitboard uh, uh, on the pitboard pitboard in order to uh, be able to later on uh, make those shifts and uh, answer the simple question whether the attack is still on board or not so white points and yeah just add in a couple commentaries so generate pawn attacks here okay and here we want to generate knight attacks respectively and just like uh we've been doing here within the pawns but uh regardless of color uh we're gonna be bitwise or in our attacks uh with a, a bit board shifted to the specific offset so let's actually start doing this first i would like to say attacks bitwise or equals and the bit board and let's right shift the bit board to so to calculate the offs I'm sorry guys the offset so let me just try to pick whatever so this is plus eight and this is plus 16 so 17 and 15 let's start with this offsets so 17 and well probably let me just specify them all in order not to forget them so uh, okay, so 17, 15, uh, uh, okay, then we go 8, uh, 9, 10, and 8, 7, 6, so 10 and 6 for in both, in both directions, basically, so knight attacks okay uh knight attacks here so i, I just i just bring this uh mm, offsets in in order, to, in order not to forget them basically so big board let's uh right shift this on 15. okay so we don't need this uh test for a while and i just simply want to print the bit board and I want to call the mask knight attacks uh, on the square of e4 and now in order to compile and run this I need to open the terminal in the current working directory and type make and if it compiles I just want to run my BBC uh, binary executable okay so we have our knight uh, on e4 e4 and here is where it's uh, here where it is where it attacks so now let's bring the knight to 
B4 and then to A4 to see to, to take care of offboard capturing. So let's start with the B4. Okay, it's still fine. And but if we go to A4, it already goes to the H file, which is not correct. So in order to avoid this behavior, we need simply to say if and then take this expression. So bitboard bitwise ended with a 17. And now we need to bitwise end it with already available not age file uh, variable. So now let's have a look again, it, it, and it doesn't capture to it doesn't capture offboard anymore. So the next thing to consider would be to bitwise or our attacks uh, with uh, the bitboard and a set of 15. And let's have a look. So now it's going. Now it's, now it's capturing to the right, so let's go back to, say, E4. Okay, it already captures to two, play, two squares, now let's, uh, let's bring it to H4. So it would now be uh, capturing offboard to the A file. So in order to avoid this behavior as well, we need to say if, and, I'm sorry, and if, this expression bitwise ended with the not a file only in this case we want to bitwise or the attacks so from now on uh, it won't be uh, kind of jumping there to uh, to this sort of a file and now let's deal with uh, with the rest uh, of uh, uh, we're offset so let's uh, take care of offset of 10 let's have a look so it goes so here is the offset of 10 and if I now go to b4 go into b4 it goes offboard to h file but if I go to a4 it goes even further on the off offset of g file uh, on the g file so that's the reason why we have created this not hg uh, constant to bitwise add our night attacks in order to await night capturing offboard. So uh, we need to use this not h to bitwise end this with not hg, uh, yeah not hg file here. So simply saying if uh, and this offset bitwise ended with a not hg file okay save and now we have the knight on a4 but it's not capturing either h or g so let's try to drop it slightly back to b4 to make sure it still doesn't capture there okay and let's drop it back to e4 so now it already has all, already three capture uh, already three squares to, to attack for night and now let's take care of the very last offset in the right shift direction I'm real sorry for this environmental sound sounds guys I can do nothing to them literally uh, unfortunately at least at this moment so we need to say attacks bitwise or equals and now the offset of six and also I don't need this offsets anymore so so let's have a look. Yeah, and now we just go to G4 and H4. It would be jump into A and B file respectively. So we just go to B, to G4. It jumps to A file. Okay, and on H4 we will be jumping to B4 to B file. So in order to get rid of this behavior, we need to say if and uh, take this expression based and bitwise end with a not a b file like this save and okay so it's not not capturing offboard anymore h4 g4 doesn't capture offboard perfect so let's drop back to e4 and now we need to implement literally the same attacks but uh, for the opposite side uh, bit shifts so this is very easy to do here we just need to uh, Oh my god <laughs> to swap them back like this and here as well and also obviously don't forget to swap a file and h file and a b file and 
hg file respectively but uh, still obviously we need to make 100 100 percent sure that it still kind of works so let's have a look now we have already up to eight uh, squares for a knight to attack and now let's put the knight on well it's g4 h4 and then b4 so say g4 okay not capturing off board good h4 okay not capturing off board now let's go to b4 okay fine to a4 fine and now let's try the counters as well so a1 okay now let's try h1 okay good now let's try h8 okay perfect and finally a8 good so it seems to be uh, working quite pretty, quite pretty nicely so from now on we can actually start initializing our night attacks within our init leaper attacks function so in order to do this we need simply to say like init night attacks and here i'm using this night attacks uh table indexed by the square and it would be equal to mask night oh my god night attacks uh and i'm passing the square as an argument and from now on it already should be actually printing uh all the uh attacks from the night 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 attacks table so i just need to change this to night attacks and let me just try to clear my console and run this again okay i'm sorry uh oh that's because yeah obviously night attacks is one dimensional array sorry for this okay so knight on h1 on g1 on f1 on e1 so knight is shifting to the left and it goes 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 so it doesn't capture off board anywhere which is good okay so now knight goes goes okay okay perfect yeah it goes even more okay so i just want to see this from the upper side so on a8 on b8 c8 and so on okay 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 yeah and finally finally all the attacks available here yeah so it seems to be working quite pretty nicely well okay guys so this is it from my side the very last uh piece the very last leaper piece we need to deal with is a kin and it would be very similar to uh, the knight implementation uh so this is the topic for the next video already and uh regarding today uh it's getting late out there you see like i can i can i can already hardly see uh the letters on my keyboard so it's time to uh end with this just programming tutorials for today at least and i hope to come back to you tomorrow so uh thanks for watching thanks for following this series i wish you all the best guys until the next time and take care